Hey guys, April 23 of uh, 2024, U.S. session close on that, guys. Woo, 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 what? Look at that bull kicker. I know I'm on the uh, May contract, but I got out at 183. I was expecting some kind of volatility to the upside, and I got it. Uh, long from 170, got out at 183. Now I got to work on this, the next contract. Uh, someone brought it to my attention, which I know I just, I just got so much stuff going on and looking, but no, this is the May contract, the NGK four. You can see the volume is already dwindling at 61,000. The June is already at 131. So there's a lot of movement here. And then the July it's already at 50. So keep an eye on that. Uh, 184, I got out at 183 locked in some profit so let's let's uh move from this contract and look at the other one but i'm gonna just kind of tell you what's going on here i still got a target of 232 uh for the long term uh but now that i'm out i have to now trade the new contract so i have to look at new levels but we'll finish it here on this contract the may contract we close above 180 so this is bullish and uh, you know, MACD uh, monthly is positive and the daily you're above the 50, the 20 crack. The mobile bands is positive. PPS buy signal MACD uh, positive volume dwindling because of the change of contract. Everybody's into another contract and you can see that we're in the cloud. If it's going to push higher, I can see 190 uh, linear regression channel could pre, uh, be resistance and also you're in the cloud so be careful on that looking at our midpoint you can see the triangular pattern on this contract in may we blew right through the 180 which is the midpoint on the monthly and now well we kind of yeah we're very close to this uh midpoint from last month which is 184 and that's where we're stalling i got out of 183 there's another pivot here of a 184 it looks like we kissed it and now retracing and for the week or not for the week for the day this was the uh, target so they tried to spike it down and we got it here and pushed up so now the new contract this is the new contract where everybody's trading the volume ng m24 i got that right hopefully i didn't type the wrong one yeah, M M24. Yep. So this is the new contract. So now what what should what what should be what we what should we be aware of or informed here? One is the value area high, which is two two thirteen. We made a high here of what? Uh two twelve. So this is the value area high. We need to break above this, and there's another value area high of uh, 222. So I have to start studying this chart. As you can see, volume is good. The bulls are in control here, especially in this day. And our simple glance chart, MACD is positive. We need to close above 212 in order to get some positive momentum on this contract. There's a monthly Woody's pivot, R1 of a 223. And on the daily, we are above the 20, the 50 SMA, and you can see the 213 is going to be resistance or a target, and you got the linear regression channel coming down here. So you got a double whammy right here. So be careful. Uh, if you're not, if you weren't long around here, uh, I don't know if it's safe to uh, start getting long here. I would wait for it to even kiss, kiss here, set up a bull trap and push lower maybe test the 50 maybe test the 20 and then get another you know get another leg higher or retrace to get in again and push uh into you know into the future uh i have a target of 232 so that would be the target which is this one right here look at that so that was the low of uh that was the low of last year 232 right here 232 so that's that's my target i mean it could go higher but that's the target i have i just have to get in now and then write it all the way up to here on your midpoint on the monthly you have a target of 216 so that's a possible target that's going to continue the momentum and on the weekly we already hit our our most uh 
a highest pivot, which is 212. So very risky to go long here, but you can, you know, you can do whatever you want, but I wouldn't do it. I'd rather wait for a retracement, you know, maybe this little area right here, uh, this 50%. You know, there's a few spots you could probably pick if you really look where you could think maybe if it retraces, you know, I could probably, I could probably get in. And on the daily, you're very close to hitting your target for today only, which is uh, 212. Targets to the upside of it's going to continue, 218, 215, as long as we could, you know, we haven't closed yet, but those are the targets to the upside. But we need to stay above at least. 202 and we need to stay above 206 uh what else i think that's it pretty exciting day huh uh talking about the 422 from my uh even before i even go there let's look how interesting how 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 the <laughs> how the markets work out it's just amazing so let's go back to my old contract and let's get the uh my SO. So my SO was indicating something, you know, all of these from this 152 low right here, um, that something was going to be cooking. I don't even know. I'm not even working my chart. Something's going to be cooking from 422 on. Uh, you can see, well, this is the weekly. So it's really over here that I will have to put this uh, thing here. From right here, so from this low all the way right here, it exploded, and this was a trigger point. And on top of that, the master chart had the vector, so it was all kind of all lining up. I was just waiting for the volatility, and you can see how how volatile this day was. But so far, I'm excited. I'm happy. Let's go now to our uh, what is it? A uh, M24. And let's look at the square of nine. So now this is a new contract. So we hit a high of 212. 212 is all the way over here, huh? 211, 212. Uh, there's something here with 213, 214, the 194 low. So you got to be careful there. It could get kind of toppy around here. Just be very careful. But if it continues pushing higher, 218. Um, and my target would be 232, 233 right here. So if we pull back, it'll be, this could be a good area to, uh, you know, get your toes wet, even 197. Uh, and this is uh, 198 right here. So anywhere between 197 and 204 right here, right there, and right here. If it pulls back, for those that haven't gotten in, this would probably be a nice little area anywhere around here that you could kind of nibble. Uh, and that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to wait for a pullback. Now, if it continues, then, you know, oh, I mean, I locked in profit. I'm cool. Uh, but if it pulls back, this is the area I'm, I'm going to be watching uh, for, another, for a retracement and then another push higher on this contract. And uh, that's pretty much it. Just watch out for these key levels, 204, 197, and uh, 214, and anything above 214, 218, all the way to 225. I'm going to sign up. Oh, and I also picked up some UNG. I uh, got a couple of uh, ETS on UNG uh, to get a little more exposure on that. I'm going to sign out. Hopefully you like this video, and maybe I'll do a video on my wheat trade if I can. Uh, what I'm what I'm cooking there. Interesting, interesting uh, markets. Interesting markets. I'm gonna sign out. Hopefully you like this video, and I'll keep you posted on my thoughts on that, guys.